Well, hello and welcome to the CEV Champions League where we have reached semi-final time. A gigantic fixture between two European giants. Wilfredo Leon making his way into the Halal Zotti an hour or so ago as Sokoma Monini Perugia are in the Lions at Den in the Hala Azotti for the second Champions League semi-final of the evening. Yeah. I am agree with my president, totally, without any, any doubt. We are here for this. We are working really hard and we fight all the season for to arrive in the topical moment for to achieve something important. And something important means Champions League or the league in Italy. We are on the line. Uh, we are a really uh, strong team also in mental side and I hope that today also we can show this. Yeah, I think it plays uh, it, uh, its part, but also Perugia has a very experienced players. So uh, I think both teams are very much ready for this game. And uh, yeah, will be will be a great battle and we are ready for sure. Well, good evening once again and welcome to Poland where Perugia have made the 1400 kilometer journey in this first leg of what will be an exciting fixture over the next week or so. The Azotti Hall, Kajina Kosle is the host as Zaxa Kajina Kosle host Perugia in this opening tie of what will be a monstrous encounter with the world's real best. Well, for Perugia, they had to battle past Berlin in the previous round. For Grupa Azotti Kachina Kosle, if they do win a third consecutive Champions League title, no one could say that they had it easy. Beating Trentino in the previous round in the golden set, this is certainly an uphill task against a team in Perugia who are unbeaten in the domestic league. They've only lost twice all season. There's uh, the fixture. The second of the evening after Hauk Bank Ankara have already lost their opening game. Closer is now, if you don't want to know that, by the way. Yes, Trebski, Regal winning 3-1. Benny Toniti pulling the strings. And uh, Polish outside, Thomas Fornal taking the MVP award. Zaxa versus Perugia then. Are you ready? Because it's going to have a little bit of everything. Almost three and a half thousand fans can fit into the hall here, the Blooper Azotti. And I think, as we know with Poland, they will take the roof right off of it 
Wilfredo Leon. Four Champions League titles to his name already, but he moved here to win more, and he hasn't done that yet, as we had a quick look at Gregor Ropet. And this is the big story here this evening. Camille Semenyuk, seven years at Zaxa, three Polish championships, three Polish cups, two Champions League titles, is back. And it will be a mixture of emotions this evening for him as he dons a different jersey. This time he has that man, Simone Gianelli, pound for pound, one of, if not the very best setters in the world. Both part of the dream team from last year's Champions League, where Zaxa, in your picture, now uh, looking to that man in your picture, Lucas Kazmarek, on the right side to steer the ship. He was, again, inspirational in the previous round. That man there, Bartosz Szczepetnor, just played for Shanghai this season. And it was, you would feel, felt that they needed a little bit more aggression on the outside. Bednor certainly adds that to this Saxa side. And him and Slivka will have a tough task on their hands this evening. You'd expect Camille Richlicki to start on that right side for Perugia with Gianelli. Gianelli, also two metres tall, will provide a very solid block. There's uh, Donald Wiltenberg, one of the players that hasn't won the Champions League with Zaxa as of yet. Wiltenberg, Sepien, Bednorz and Paszczycki, the players that haven't won for Zaxa in the Champions League as they look to go for a third straight Champions League title. They would join Zenit Kazan, who obviously had Wilfredo Leon in their roster for all four of those. And at the same time, Trentino, the only side to have ever won three in a row back in that 2009-10 era. Ati Kaczynski played at that time, and he's still playing for Trentino, as we know. Well, Zaxa looking for a third straight Champions League final. Perugia. They missed out in the semis last year, but the feeling amongst the camp is that they have such a great team. Confidence has to be sky, sky high with their lead form, their depth and their balance even off the bench. Andrea Anastasi has a lot of options to go to if things aren't quite going to plan. The only question is, does Leon start? Semenyuk in his own backyard would love to play a part in this game. As we have a look at Perugia, Simone Gianelli, the setter, which Licky will play on the opposite as Thomas Samalevu leads the side with 2022 MVP Camille Semenyuk playing in his first Champions League tie for Perugia against his old side, Saxa. Gregor Rupert, the second setter, Slovenian international, but Oleg Kotnitsky is the best attacker in the team, but also the best server in this competition. Well, 11 of the Saxa squad retained from last year's championship winning side. Six have been part of the last two winning sides, as we said, Wultenberg, Sepian Bednorge and Pajitski, the players that haven't won a Champions League, they're now led by Slivka, the left-handed, left-sided player. He'll have a big evening on his hands. Lukas Kazmarek, also one of the six that have won two Champions Leagues. There he is, Plotnitsky. He's on an absolute tear at the moment. And it's hard to believe that he's still so, so young. Plotnitsky, just still 25 years old. But eight aces in this competition so far. Bartosz Bednos will be playing on the left side this evening. Had five aces of his own at home to Trentino in the opening leg of the quarterfinal. 19 points, but also scored 20 away in Trentino. For me, it was the balance of Bednor, Schlitka, and also Kazmarek that did the damage there. 
fans are in. This is Poland. This is exactly what Poland does to you. There's no better place in the world to watch volleyball than Poland. Well, there's going to be a ceremony before we get underway here for past players of Saxo. And I have a feeling that Camille Semenyuk will be involved in that presentation. Players warming up with uh, the serves and the service battle will be incredibly interesting this evening. We know what's coming our way. It's Zaxa versus Perugia in the Champions League semi-final. Where else would you rather be than here right now? But teams have played once in the bronze medal match in 2018. Perugia beating Zaxa, a team that included Semenyuk that evening, but also uh, the Perugia strong side. That was when they had the battle between uh, Alexander Atanasievich and Ivan Zaitsev, both playing on the right side. That was a pickle for Bernardi throughout that time, for sure. The club world champions, Perugia, Italian Giants who went through a whole league season undefeated. Three of the last six cups. Tonight they have to deal with Zaxa though. And with this Zaxa side, yes, it hasn't been the perfect league campaign for them. They have one game left before playoffs at the weekend and funny enough that is against Jastrzewski could be a Champions League final warm-up game between the two Polish sides this is Champions League volleyball this is a final four game that includes world champions includes European champions. As there's a run around of announcements before we get underway, Tomas Samulvu from Finland, the coach of Zaxa, the only Finnish player to win the Champions League. Another huge evening for that man there in your picture, Andrea Anastasi. Well, knows Poland very well in his time coaching Warszawa. Zaxa won the league every single year, so uh, he'll know what it's like to go up against them this evening. This time with Perugia. Shake of hands, pleasantries before uh, we wind this one up and get going. Be interesting this evening who wins the battle. Slivka on the outside. Him and Bednor should start, you would think, but then also the battles in the middles. They've got a lot of work to do. Veo Ivanov and Cohen Lutz, the officials for this game. A proud moment for them both. That's for certain. The lights are off. The show 
about to begin. Will it be Gianelli who manages to pull the strings over these two legs or Martin Janusz? Two setters who will know each other already incredibly well from international duty. Perugia will be announced first. Will Semenyuk be in the starting seven? Probably the big question here because you've got Plotnitsky who you're just not going to drop in his form, but also Wilfredo Leon with the experience, the physicality and just being one of the world's best. It's a real beautiful problem for Anastasi to have. But first of all, Simone Gianelli, the only player to win MVP at a World Championships and the World Club Championships, the general for this team. Camille Wichlicki, who uh, a big player for Lube in the time. Leon gets the nod. There's also a start for Flavio, the Brazilian international third best blocker at the World Championships. Let's have the confirmation. It is Potnitsky and Leon that start on the outside. Flavio and Roberto Russo, another Italian international in the middle, and Ricci and Gianelli. Hugs all round from Semelevu here then. You don't expect anything different. There's Bartosz Bednos, David Smith, the American international, Eric Soji just coming out slightly behind him. Maybe the one question mark from the previous round is whether he starts with Pachitsky or Norbert Hoover. Hoover was great off the bench, but he's gone with Dmitry Pajitsky, David Smith, Kazmarek, Janusz, Slivka, and Bednos. That's the starting lineup from Saxa. It's a strong one. They can always go to Hoover on the bench at two meters, seven centimeters. Best middle blocker in the league last year. Anastasi, how are you so calm, sir? Thomas Samalaveo, coached Russia to the Olympic silver medal. The Kuzbas coming over for a bit of time now. He's at Zaxa and with Canada as well as he looks to take them up from 15th in the world ranking. David Smith, Zaxa squeezing every little bit of juice out of his career. Two Champions Leagues in a row, but... The top server in the Champions League, the left-hander Oleg Plitnitsky gets us underway in the semi-final of the Champions League. Zaxa in white, Perugia on the left in red, and the first point goes the way of Perugia. big play and in turn David Smith just reaching over the top of the net band and being penalized for it. Now Plotnitsky, someone we really have to look out for, best server in the world championship as well with 18 aces for the Ukraine and uh, Kazmarek starts well. This battle will be really key between Kazmarek and Leon on this right side. Pinching him one-on-one -on -one and just brushes it off the right shoulder. It's always going to be a soft, fast swing, that. But Leon just creeping inside, adapting the line to the approach line of Kazmarek. David Smith operated at 56% and 58% hitting efficiency. And also can come into the game with aces as well. Had 23 serves in the home game against Trentino. I remember two or three big runs. And Smith has got Zaxa off to a good start. Leon says, my bad. Smith wants more. And for the first time, Schlicki gets into the game with a fast arm, high arm. Twice won the Club World Championships, once with Perugia, once with Lube, the Lube side with Bruno and Robert Landy Simon, Liao. 
Flavio Boliverto, 29 years old, Brazilian international, serves straight down the line. Maybe trying to make life difficult for Janusz to find Kazmarek by serving straight down the line. Difficult to turn the angle here in the pass, but Slivka does a fine job to open the game up and turn the blocker, not quite getting out. And Zaxa, Perugia both off to nice starts here. We said the roof was going to come off this place, didn't we? First out of system play. That's a high risk sort of smuggler in turn from Rich Licky. Three up off the block and G for the first time in through the pipe. Lonitsky just fades away. But the foot was uh, over the three meter line from Lonitsky. It wasn't over, was it? It was just on. Gianelli using the pipe early on, trying to hold the middle a little bit. Can do that many away, Gianelli, obviously, by working the middle. But in turn, if you can get Leon one-on-one -on -one outside, it's dangerous. He is almost one-on-one -on, -one on cue. Choji tries to get across. But Leon uh, doesn't even look like he's trying here. Good speed, just a little bit of a gap opening. Six is sat there, but also Choji tries to cram, but to no avail. Jitski beaten. The noise electrifying. The pass in a very good position. And that's one way to make life look very easy for Bartosz Bednors, isn't it? Spent some time in Russia before playing in Shanghai getting called up late to this Saxa season, but high, really smooth Gianelli. Looking very Italian there. Oh, big serve. Shoulder dig, Shoji on the free ball. Zaxa to go three up through the pipe, that's magic. Absolute magic. Shoji pushes over from five to one. Bednorsch this time from the pipe, big shoulder pass from Plotnitsky, bosh! And we have game on here, but this one, Leon had committed the wrist away swing to the sideline, the money maker. Service pressure so far for Zaxa is on point, and because their service pressure is on point, their block can really start to control the game. And the unflappable Perugia are flapping a little bit here. Leon a little bit inside. And that should be a mismatch with Anoush on the wing, but not out of system. It's a very different side, this, for Perugia this year. Having lost out to Trentino. And that golden set last season, I mean, it was uh, devastating and Trentino are feeling it now. Having been that one, oh, that's a uh, feisty one, 7-4. You think no Matt Anderson anymore, no Fabio Ricci, no uh, the Latvian Christos Dardzans. Dragan Tadricio has been replaced uh, by Robrent, the backup centre, Tier Horst. Quite a few changes. As uh, Leon, for anyone who's watched enough of Leon, will know that he can win Champions League almost on his serve alone. But being able to pass that well and run this offense off a of Leon Belter is key. Slivka takes himself out of the attack, but that's uh, Pajitski. Reverse play, looking to go away from the two blockers. Janusz uh, licking his lips, and rightfully so, that was delicious. 
the under-service target. That's one thing that could be a question this evening for them. Semenya could come in and maybe help in the pass, so to speak, if needed. Semenya uh, only with one point in that game against uh, Berlin at home, looking for a touch taken. Slivka loves the cross body, doesn't he? Slivka, left hander. And being left handed on that left side, it does have its benefits of being able to hit quite a few cross court angles nicely. No more so than that one, high and deep into the corner. Service straight down the middle, they're targeting Leon early doors. Pirate Tomahawk defense, hello. Back through the middle, Gianelli, Ricciniki shut down. Ladies and gentlemen, Zaxa are cooking here. Free ball from Leon. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation and a very strong inside hand by David Smith. Brilliant from Simulebu putting Slivka in the middle. Slivka now back onto that right side and tooled off the top from Plotnitsky. Gianelli. I mean, 14 awards in his career so far, still just 26 years old. Surprised the world after really leaving Trentino in 2021. Two silvers and a bronze in the Champions League for Mr. Gianelli. Through the centre, Smith is back on point so far. You have to say, he hasn't put a foot wrong. And in the previous two legs as well, batters one. Five and a half, six. Slivka alongside Smith. Kazmarek, Strasevsky is on the bench and Bartholomew Kluf and also Cornelia Shabanak, the players that have won two Champions League. Slivka, the good serve, a little bit out of rhythm here. Shoji, it's a little bit off the net for that free ball from Shoji, but how relaxed has Bartosz Bednors looked early on in this game? You have to say, he gets across three man in the block, that's difficult. They get the rubber to green here a little bit, Zaxa. But then Janusz has a look for his outside man in a one-on-one -on -one and just turns it over the left shoulder a little bit. Zaxa looked terrifying at the moment. Slivka again on a good run. Big service from Slivka. This time three up on the outside again. Ben Norris does well to get across. Second time of asking. Straight through the middle. And Flavio, just on that wider set. It's a fantastic set from Gianelli. Run it wider, pick the gap between the blockers. Flavio at two meters, but uh, play for Severci. The game could turn in an instant right here, right now with uh, Plotnitsky serve. Shoji everywhere, isn't he? Bednorz. On the wing. It's pretty frightening at the moment. And that's just pure height over the top of Richlicki. And in turn, that's dangerous. Because you shouldn't have a mismatch there, Bednorz. It's not a mismatch, but he knows that if he stays high, He's going to get the opposite from Perugia reaching in his space. Smith to Leon, serve to the inside, making it difficult for him. Not that difficult, is it, for Leon? Polish international now, Leon, with the absolute chance to break a few Polish hearts over the next week or so. Flavio. Six blocks uh, in that 
Berlin game away that they won 3-1 for Flavio. Kazmarek is into the game now. Hello, sir. It's a six-point game. And I think this shows just how well it's going for Zaxa that they haven't had to use Kazmarek. The speed is great. It's going to beat the middle block of the speed. Maybe Leon's a bit disappointed. He didn't dive into the angle. Who knows? But the connection between Janusz and Kazmarek is absolutely delightful as uh, the game just gets quicker and quicker, higher and higher. Schlicki, big serve. This is exactly what they do need, but this time, Kazmarek fades away from the body and he puts a little bit more heat in his shoulder. We saw the same swing, didn't we? The fast one, but now they're giving him the line a lot here. Trying to take that cross court hammer. Bednoj. Back into back. Came second in the Chinese League already this season with uh, Shanghai, with the uh, three time Champions League winner Osmane. One trainer. I don't think this was in the script. There's uh, Robbie Russo. Russo, part of the Italian team, played in the World Championship final. As, uh, this might not be too calm now from Anastasi. Seconda cosa, in fase break, non tocchiamo una palla in difesa, butto la palla di là, la palla è punto. Non è possibile, eh, ragazzi. Questo non è possibile. Se non ci mettiamo il cuore in difesa, non ci saltiamo fuori. Dobbiamo essere più aggressivi. Piano, piano, So far, the service has been strong from Zaxa. Bednorz, Kazmarek have certainly uh, taken the game to Perugia. Leon, that's an absolute rocket. Shoji's maybe saying, I don't think we saw that one. Doesn't matter who's defending. I guess you have to surrender quite a lot of points when that man is... Uh, on the front court, back court, and the service line. Leon. Big serve to position one. There's one back for Perugia. There's still an enormous amount of work to be done, but Bednorz uh, the target. Let's keep an eye on that one. Keeping the ball away from Slivka, yes. Keeping the ball away from Eric Choji. Both very good ideas. Leon wants more. One of the most decorated players the game's ever seen. I think back in that team that just dominated the mid to late. 2010s is uh, we'll come back to that as Mil Semenyuk is coming in on the back court for Leon. So it's a big evening, big moment for him. He's not served to start with. It's a bit quick, a bit of a fumble from Gianelli, maybe a little bit miscommunication, but that's just absolutely throwing down. Have a little bit of that, says Gianelli. Another change as Russo comes out for uh, Jesus Herrera. Best opposite in France last year. Kevin Tilly was uh, the MVP, but he played for Chamont. Herrera. And he was also the best server. And you can see why straight off the bench. And that is absolute clutch from Herrera. Big lefty hammer drawn through the body. Dipping and ducking. Slivka's been aced. 
Timeout from Zaxa. What a great substitute from Anastasi. Okay, stay in our positions, okay. That's it. Simple things. Guys, after rallies, come to the middle, we take time. Okay. One of two Cuban substitutes available for Anastasi Herrera as uh, we look to the back end of this opening set. Julio Cesar Cardinas, the other, also played uh, in France with Phil, but Herrera again, Cuban. Good substitution from Samuel Deo, just carving things down a little bit and in turn. Russo is then brought back off for the libero. Played uh, every set, didn't start every set in the World Championship final. Him and Galassi shared that spot. Serve short, it's a good one. Oh, Gianelli! But it's been shot straight down. Slivka looks straight to the bench and says, you think this was part of the game plan, don't you? Why play? Just blocking the seam of the court. Gianelli, though, you can't take anything away with that little bit of wizardry to get a one-on-one, -on -one, but back underway, fast again. Kazmarek is another one that's low and quick, and when it works, it's great. When it's not quite working, it's low and inside and easy for the blockers. Flavio keeps uh, getting across. When that ball is so quick, very good to operate outside of where your body's stationed. Kazmarek just, uh, first time he's really been stopped. Gianelli. And to run the middle again off Gianelli's serve. Janish is uh, having a fine game. We've seen him on the back. Now we see Smith again just turn it deep to five. It's a magical swing. Smith, year after year, proving his weight in gold for the Saxa side. Slivka out the back, though. Well, Janusz was uh, brought in. I'm well, talking of substitutions, we'll come back as uh, Semenyuk has taken off on the front for, for Leon. And not many teams in the world. can actually do that, replace the menu for Leon, just for the front court, when you're talking about somebody who scored 22 points in the Champions League final last year. Well, Nitsky hasn't found his service range as of yet, but Saxa, well, we know how this works, where you have to win over two legs, but a 3-0 or a 3-1 counts more than a 3-2. Ace, once more for Zaxa, it's Smith again. Take an absolute foul, sir. I feel that he's been unbeaten in the middle. That's his second ace of the set. Zaxa by three. The question is, can they keep up this level of play? Because it's been outstanding. Puts Leon to the deck this time through the center. Great setting from Gianelli because Leon's out the attack due to the serve of Smith. So he just fizzes it straight to Flavio. And Flavio, high, winds up. Beats Majinski. Well, Gregor Wolfred comes in, only played in the fifth set against uh, them. But if you remember, Slovenia have had some very good runs. Three times runner up in the European champs with Slovenia. We've got Ropet, he's uh, not going to be serving anymore though as uh, Bednorge unplayable so far, isn't he? He's had uh, Rishlicki for breakfast, lunch and dinner just by staying high and doing nothing flash. 
Brett's back out. They played uh, in Poland. They beat Poland, Slovenia, in the Spodek in Katowice to qualify for the European Championship final and then lost out to Italy and Gianelli in that final. It's a great side, actually. Tonczek Sterner, Jan Kuzmarek, Ellen Sked, Tino Analte, Clement Chabel. Team led by Alberto Giuliani. Stays high once more, Leon, and uh, makes it look easy. Shoji, a rare pass out of system, but when you've got power on the wings, it's okay. Out of rhythm, out of system attack, speed from Gianelli to Richlicki. In turn, there's a free ball almost for Leon, and that's a spatch from Leon. And it brings up set point for Zaxa. That's a rare one for Leon. And it's so rare that it means they've had to call a challenge. Been incredibly impressed with Bartosz Bednor so far. That ball is out of bounds from Leon. I wonder if we'll see more of uh, Semenyuk in the second set. Maybe he might get a start instead of them. Doesn't look like from previous outings that Anastasi will want to bring Kotnitsky off, but who knows? He hasn't started serving as we've seen either as uh, Bednorz fires out the back, but it's, again, not too much of a problem when you have uh, the MVP of 2022 Champions League, Semenya, and MVP of everything, Leon, who's now serving to stay in the set. Out of bounds this time, and the opening set of this encounter goes the way of Zaxa. 25-18, that might be quite a gap on the scoreboard, but there is a lot of volleyball left in this one. Zaxa take the opener, they lead Perugia one set to zero. Well, if Zaxa play like that in every set, they absolutely deserve to go through to the uh, Champions League final. That's for certain so far so good. Five points for Bednorz at 56% attacking efficiency, but Smith and Slivka at 100%, three points between them, 80% for Lukas Kazmarek. Offensively, they have been too strong, haven't they? Where on the other side of things, Slicky's only operating at 13% attack execution. They'll need more from him and Potnitsky operating at 40%. Leon at 57% or so. But the serving, the blocking, everything that Samoveo put together paid off for Zaxa in the opener. As I've said a million times before, though, this is a marathon. It really isn't a sprint. Do not expect Perugia to go anywhere.
Confirmation of the opening set score. 25-18 by Promise. The Perugia are going to up their game and Zaxa will be under immense pressure. Undefeated in Serie A for a reason. As uh, it's interesting, we have a little look at Herrera. Maybe there's some changes coming from uh, Anastasi. He might have read the facts that like he really wasn't scoring efficiently enough in that opening set. Does Semenyuk get the nod as well? Change of dynamic as a left-hander on that right side. Very powerful Herrera. But I seem to think that Anastasi wouldn't have wanted to make changes that early. Lovnitsky, Leon start on the wing again. So there's still no Semenyuk. His old buddy, though, will get us underway. Slivka played together for so long with Poland. And oh, Shoji put down. Welcome to the game. Herrera. That is one way to make a statement. And that is clubbed. Hi, Dorkin from Herrera. And now he gets a chance to serve and it's a blistering serve. Shoji who uh, was put flat back on his backside before, now fast to the outside. You have to say that Bednorz this evening is providing that outlet. that Zaxa desperately needed before Christmas. Seems to be a great addition in these big matches. Gianelli, and he's not scared to feed the Cuban, is he? Rarerin staying incredibly high. Off the middle. Completely different look compared to what they've seen in which Licky hit. And it's a different looking Perugia start because uh, Shoji has now been asked a couple of questions early on. Pancake out of bounds. Bednorz is a scoring machine this evening. And all he's really done is stay really high and go off hands. Incredibly athletic, hasn't tried to hit too many angles. Middle for a middle. Russo back in the mix of 14 points uh, and 10 points in the two matches against Berlin, one including four blocks. We do have a few now from uh, Bobby Russo. The under 23 Super League Player of the Year in 2020. Uh, it's a big award when there's so many good players in this generation for Italy. He's now very much made his way into that Italian squad as they just grow and grow. 2016 Olympics, they certainly needed some fresh young blood, and then you look forward six or seven years and they've won everything. Bednoz. Ham, a great pass from Kornitsky, it really is. And his reward is that he gets it back and the speed of the play allows him to beat the middle blocker. Bednoz has absolutely cranked that. And to get that inside the three meter line is a really good bit of work. In turn, Pajitski, very tall Pajitski, might beat him for speed with the, uh, and the pass is very good getting out to the wing. But Pajitski is 2.05. Uber on the bench is 207. Gianelli this time into the net. In my notes, spoke about the aggressive consistency of uh, Klodnitsky being key this evening, and so far it's seen little parts of that. Herrera's not intercept the ball, but a high pipe attack from Leon 
Brilliant change of direction back and off the hands of Herrera. That's very smartly done from Janusz. The ball's come from right to left and then back to right hand side again. And have a look at how that affects the blockers of Perugia. Just hit. And in turn, Flavio late getting out on Kazmarek. They play with too much speed. Serving on Leon again. Brilliant from Gianelli. To find Flavio from three meters off the net. Great feet, fast hands, put into the perfect spot. And you can understand why Smith's really trying to protect position one there, because a lot of plays are designed to hit position one from there. But when the set's off the net, it's actually more difficult to hit position one than position five if that makes sense. Potnitsky knows that this is not going his way at the moment. Zaxa by one, having won the opener. We're saying they've certainly done this the hard way over time. Trentino, Perugia. They also had to come through the playoffs didn't they, because they're in Trentino's group. But they're still here. And they're getting better and better. Semenyu hasn't come on yet. Or he has, maybe for one or two. Another big story to follow this evening. Kazmarek having a great game on that right side. Top scorer in the Champions League. But not when it comes to efficiency. Remember, Zaxa have played those extra two games. They had to beat Zavirci, top of plus league, so they've done it really difficult work, but it's Slivka back in the game, dominating everything, Leon. Multiple times they've tried to get Leon to the floor. That's too good, too low, too powerful for Leon. Service pressure from Zaxa this evening off the charts. Zaxa also beat Zavirci in the cup semi final as well. The end of. Uh, the playoffs in Italy will be interesting to watch with uh, Brugia 2 1 up against Milano, but also keep an eye out in Poland as well because the level between the two leagues is uh, frightening now. As you look at these Champions League final fours, and you know that Poland very much catching up, maybe not quite in depth of the league, but in terms of their top teams playing incredible volleyball, that's uh, exactly what we get. Smith, who's served delightfully well so far. And at the moment, Herrera's come off the bench to make a difference, and he's done just that. We've seen him hammer into the cross court a couple of times, higher on the slower ball, and then he knows he's got a free net into the angle this time. Leon gathers the troops. Hands on head time for a few fans, but Smith had one in the last set. Leon gets a little bit of luck here as Perugia look to battle back from behind the service line. Zaxa have had it all their own way so far. Again, Leon shows he has got a very tough task weathering the storm of some of these serves throughout this game. On the turn, big play. And look who's in the middle of everything again. Usually a cool customer, isn't he, Bednorz? Not this evening. Gets one off the hands of Plotnitsky. Makes a great decision to hammer off the hands of the blocker, traveling the furthest, maybe slightly slow with the hands on the press. Didn't have any choice but to go off the hands, but even when he's had the choice, he's gone off the hands this evening. Bartosz Bednos. 
Kotnitsky struggling to kill now. Bednor's not struggling to kill, but excellent defense. Wow, from Kalachi just cuts off the angle. Very nice. That's one for the libero. Solid, still, waiting on the edge of the block, popping the arms out. First time we've seen that throughout this uh, set. Slivka very rarely misses. Very good through the pipe against Trentino. And he used to go both ways to five and to one. Makes him incredibly difficult to line up against. Russo once more. Two meters, seven centimeters. It's funny, isn't it, serving when it's all going and everybody's serving in everybody else seems to find their rhythm at the same time but you miss one or two and it seems to be a snowball effect in pressure mounting against you I have to say it's a very enjoyable start for this two-legged tie Bednorz fires long in the past, Slivka, Bednorz, Joji, Gianelli, incredibly really dynamic, just uh, chops a hybrid out of it this time, changes the contact, but in turn, you yeah, have to give credit, oh, still in play, hello, great chase from Herrera, to keep that one alive, Leon, difficult, maybe caught in two minds there, Leon, where they just go to hammer time, and Rush it, but tries a continuation play and misses out. Prozinski so far winning the battle. Of the Ukrainian players here against their teammate. Actually goes straight. Sorry, doesn't go straight after Plotnitsky. Goes uh, into position six. Chance to go off the hands. The set's tight this time. Three blockers in. Slivka. This may be one of the disadvantages of having a left-handed left-sider is when the ball's not quite in the slot in terms of passing, it becomes very difficult to get the spike away. Hence, he has to go for the right, tries to get one through, but there is no getting through Clavio. Lodnitsky. Actually, a story from a long time ago. Made the final four of Euro Beach Volley for the Ukraine around 2015 and 16 certainly had a bright future playing on the beach but very shortly uh, got drafted by Perugia and uh, the rest is history as they say off the net and Leon is usually your go-to man out of system no better man to hit your way aggressively with two or three blockers but just over rotates that one Leon he wants the ball a little bit higher does get the ball a little bit higher been given a lot of work here Leon being served a lot being stopped a lot and this time it is in the slot for Slivka Zaxa look calm they're aggressive. They're being incredibly patient. And it's all going their way as it stands. Again, Lee on the target. Looking to play him on the short ball again, but wasn't quite short enough, maybe. Herrera. I don't think we'll see him go off in a hurry if he continues playing like this, having come off the bench. Close serve straight down the line. Slivka trying to run a tempo on the reverse. Kazmarek is shut down, hammering cross court. Leon hammers again. It's powerful work, isn't it? 
from both sides. Leon makes his first swing in three. Just chooses to go high off the hands of Slivka. Perfect. Chase from Zaxxas sort of sums up their desire throughout this entire match so far, but well done to that man off the bench. He had a lot to do, only played uh, in set five in the Berlin game at home in the quarterfinals. But as we said, won the best opposite in France last year, and you can understand why. He's just aggressive and fast with the arm. And now in the big leagues, he's impressing again. Out of rhythm once more. And from absolutely nowhere, Perugia take a two-point lead. Slivka a couple out of rhythm here. Needs the ball in the right spot if he's going to keep delivering. Bednor's pressured on the pass. It's all a little bit too quick. And have a look at Leon just sealing the line. There's no getting past that from Alfredo Lee on this brilliant blocking. Then remember the directions, okay? With Herrera, we can leave more line open. Position four, position two, out in defense. This side out, we go back to block defense. Come on. You've got to give Samalevu 10 out of 10 for his efforts so far. Nastasi, I mean, he's coached Poland. Coached in Poland. He knows this game inside out. It's going to be an incredible duel between these two coaches over the next week or so as well. For me, some of her edging it at the moment. Navier with the serve. Slivik does a great job, pipes in, that's a rocket, what a dig, Giannetti, back out to Herrera, hammer, touch off the hands, absolutely, let's have a little bit of that one, shall we, Giannelli, big, big dig, and they make the transition high off the hands, Herrera loves swinging deep into the angle, but he's so high, he'll just go over the top, Perugia by three, and now their patience being rewarded. Tight setting again. And really, they have to try and find their rhythm a bit now. Zaxa swimming a little bit against the tide. And going. I have to keep. He's putting the ball in the right spot. Smith, undeniably consistent when used this evening. Leon put to the floor again. It's this rotation again from Slivko, who loves the cross body, but probably more luck than judgment there from Perugia. Smiles from uh, Kalachi, who thinks he's seen everything in this game. Obviously not looking at that one. This tactic of getting Leon is a pancake pass in the end, but Bonitsky's reaction is superb, and Leon hits him out of trouble. Herrera, we know that he'll go round again and have another crack. We know exactly what he's uh, capable of already coming off the bench for Rich Dickey. I don't think we'll see Rich Dickey again in the next set. The question is, will we see uh, more of Semenya coming off the bench as this game runs on? Pass uh, off the net. It's going to go to Leon on the outside. Now the system three up. Zaxa. I think again, Samuel sorry, is changing his uh, chess pieces at the net. That's a big front court for them. Kazmarek, Prajinski teaming up. 
Leon again moved to the floor. David Smith. And the service pressure relentless from both sides here. Serving Leon on the long angle. Bringing him in short at times. Proving to be a game changer for Zaxa as they try and disrupt the world's best. Anastasia and Leon have a few questions to answer now. Slightly nervous looking Semenyuk, isn't it, at the moment? Smith. Long term teammate of Shoji at international level, but they are very much a spine of this team. Consistency, everything that goes with it. Olympic bronze medalists. Leon, he's been ruffled slightly on the pass with an opportunity to push from the service line, which he does. He gets three blockers up, they slow the game down. Great setting from Gianelli. How on earth did Simone Cianelli worked that one back to Herrera. Everything going away from him, and he put it in the slot. That's the disgusting thing about it. It was perfect for Herrera to hammer through. He's heading towards position five at a fast pace. Really has to use his feet and get his hips underneath the ball and flip it back. With you, you have three guys here. You have this kind of ball in high ball situation. So many rotating factors in a game like this one. Service is certainly one of those that you can talk about Leon's passing, not quite being there throughout the second set, but his serving in his offense has been. He thinks he's put that one down. I think he's going to be disappointed. of bounds. Here he comes, Semenyuk. And I think he's being cheered by his former fans, which would be absolutely outstanding if that was the case. Obviously MVP last year's Champions League final, but also uh, in the same year at the World Club Championships, the MVP on the turn. For Zach to Herrera has hardly been stopped, has he? And we see him go high and deep, high and deep. And then we just see him open up with the arm and send it to the sideline. Let's go. Well, follow me. Kluf is out. Janusz is back in. This is turning in to the game that we all wanted it to be. And if it was the best out of 500 sets, we'd all be ready to watch every single set. Class goes in, fading away. Janusz, hello. We talk about Gianelli doing some miraculous things, but having to get the body around that one and then fall away took massive strength. It was an inside set. But I think uh, 
Ben George knew was coming and then he could just hammer it home in the seam. Good volleyball from Zaxa. Bednorz. That's okay. He's certainly doing his job. Consistency is, is everything though, isn't it? Because Zaxa came out firing on all cylinders and there's no way that they could play to that level for three to five sets this evening. But even if they could play at 80%, their best possible performance, they're going to go very close. One back, Pajinski. And the beautiful thing here from Pajinski is A, for Zaxa, the pass is in an ideal situation. But he just turns it real late. Doesn't quite do it with the arm, he ends up going off the inside hand, but the slight change of direction is good as gold. Service pressure, Zaxa need a break. Every single time, Herrera on the right. Oh. Well, well done for accountability. Net touch, absolutely, foot goes through. Well, coaches uh, love players who uh, take accountability, but the challenge would have done it all the same. 23 all. Game Plotnitsky, Semenyuk. Leon on the bench. Pajitsky serving for Zaxa. Big, heavy. Float serve from him. The dig is excellent though from Slivka. Hasn't come all the way back. What a set that is. Ruzio going to have a second chance to side out. Through the right side. Plotnitsky denied. One-handed set. Shut the door. Janusz and Slivka. Turn the tide for Zaxa here in the Halle Rosotti. Blotnitsky had his opportunity. I think it was Slivka's set midway through the rally that turned the ball back to Kazmarek. And Zaxa, from nowhere really, have set point to go 2 0. Majitsky hammered. Biggest jump set, big set from. Gianelli, free ball. Zaxa to go 2-0. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Oh, gentlemen, I feel you in the crowd. My hands are in exactly the same position as yours. <laughs> and I think everybody at home, their hands are on their head as well. A free ball situation for the double reigning European champs. And they fluff their lines. And it's a funny old game because then Plotnitsky comes back and serves the best server of this Champions League. Slivka fires wide. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is volleyball in a nutshell. And this is exactly why we love it. No fault. Well, 
Wolinski's struggled by his standards behind the service line so far. But he's finding it exactly when Perugia need it the most. Shoji does well just to get behind it. Good cover. This has to go down. But it comes down on Zaxa's side. Perugia have turned it around. A free ball opportunity goes begging for Zaxa to go 2-0. Two minutes later, two up, Flavio gets a stuff block and it is 1-1 going into the third. I think we've only just hit first gear in this tie as well. Zaxa took the first, Perugia the second, 26-24. But this is still in the opening chapters of this story. Hold on tight, wherever you're watching from, this is the very best in the world going at it. Very good beginning, but then the, the finish of the second set was a uh, stupid mistake. Well, now it's next set. What is gone, what is gone. We focus on being in the right, right directions, staying focused and in passing. Covering more our attacks and that's it, okay. Patience, play. Thank you so much. Patience, such an underrated word in volleyball. Sacks are a patient, they will have their opportunities. If they're not, Perugia will stay aggressive and could be triumphant here this evening. It's only the opening two rounds of a potential 11 sets in this tie. It's going to be a classic. Back in the game, very important set from the mental point of view. Absolutely, yes. Uh, we have to be patient today because Zach in the beginning, they was playing amazing. They serve and receive amazing and it was impossible for us to be on the same level of them. After that, slowly we start to play a little bit better in block and defense, like we can, and we make a little bit of difference, but you can see 24, 24 26, it's a tough match. Thank you so much. But there you go, Zaxa out of the traps. Mustazi knew that they couldn't hold against that level of play, but as they keep knocking, the thing has to give eventually, doesn't it? As the scores, quiet set for the likes of Smith Bednorge now. Uh, nine points at 53% execution. Smith still at 73%. That man is the most efficient man in world of volleyball at the moment, in my eyes. But then uh, the likes of Leon with nine points coming back. Herrera off the bench with nine points, scoring four from five, 80% efficiency. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That, for me, is the biggest difference from the opening set. Camille, Richlicki, not quite at the level that we're used to. 13% attack efficiency. You change that for 80 things start going in your favor the question is now can Herrera keep up his level what will we see from Leon Semenyuk was hardly set the ball in that previous set so many stories unfolding and we're still so early on in this fight
wherever you're watching from, welcome. It really is a pleasure to bring you games of uh, this magnitude as Saxa, Perugia, 1-1 fans all around the world of both sides watching this one. are in for a real magical treat and also our loyal fans on the volleyball discord enjoying themselves right now for a game of this magnitude oh you're a volley tv you can watch all matches live and on demand. This match is on demand as Herrera 80% efficiency, nine points in the previous set coming in and doing a fine job but missing his opening one. No surprise. Smith is at the forefront of everything, isn't he? Over 70% efficiency offensively. And he seems to find both side lines. Low on Leon. This time back to the line. And then he goes straight back to the center as Plotnitsky is found. Herrera sides out. Leon's back in on the wing. No Semenyuk at the moment, but uh, it certainly gives them somewhere to go. David Smith is uh, taken out for the libero. Great serving from him. I mean, he's played for Rezovia, Zaverci, Radon. He's played in Poland since 2016, Smith. Leon is uh, a dodge bullet for... Passing unit of Zaxa. Kazmarek. I feel that there's still room for him to grow through this game as well. A little bit quieter through that second set. Lotnitsky is looking for hands there. I think uh, Lotnitsky got every inch of hands. And if uh, there's an argument here, my money would be on uh, Pachitsky in a lot of ways. But if there's a challenge, I think that Lotnitsky wins it. The Battle of the Ukrainians. Here is a, yeah, big touch off of uh, Janusz, so it didn't touch Krzyzewski in the end. Roberto Russo, Italian international, just growing in uh, experience and his expertise of the game. Bednoz back into the game. And you have to uh, think that if this is something and you have to listen so carefully to the coaches. The word that they used, Samovo used, was patience. And that's exactly what he's getting from Zaxter at the moment. They're not panicking. Serve out the back from Bednor, second time of asking. And the lack of panic stations, massive when it comes to high level volleyball because you know that things are going to happen around you that you can't control or the other team are just going to play great volleyball stay patient stick to your game plan which is clearly working for some of you Gianelli just chops one to one to Brzezinski move back it's nice play from Janusz just uh, flips it back to Kazmarek right on cue when we're asking him to come through again in this game have a look at the middle here. Flavio just holds and holds and holds. Not quite quick enough to play to the speed of the set, though. Leon. Off the net. Oh, nice from Leon. 
Does a bit of his own DIY there, Wilfredo Leon, doesn't he? Just loops on the reverse set and hits the ball to position five. Slivka's a little bit like, I don't know where that came from. And he's still on the front. Got Nitsky. Oh, off the top of the net band. Well done from Smith. Very, very aware of that. And in turn, it's the little things that add up. Smith's touch there with the pass. Just had a knock-on effect that could be dangerous. Kotnitsky gets firing. It could be a three or four-point run. Zach's just stay up by two. It's all the small things that add up. Leon, the front court receiver, served again. David Smith. If he's not passing, he's serving. If he's not passing and serving, he's making big stuff blocks on Flavio. Part of the World Championship team from uh, Bulgaria and Italy 2018 that took a bronze as well. Flavio uh, scores this time through the middle. Exciting Flavio is. But, but I would say they also have Sebastian uh, Sole. They used Sole for one match against Berlin. They used uh, Flavio for the other. Sole, Argentinian international. Ooh, rare error from uh, Slivka. Has to play a bit of defense here. Does play great defense. Oh, careful there. Young Herrera. That was a very wise and well-guided leave in the end, but it did scare me for just a moment. Back onto the front court, or back court receiver, sorry. Just pushing across the position five was Bednorz. It's Bednorz that uh, shanked the previous pass as well, because Slivik is on the right-hand side of position two, but then through the pipe, Everything's quite low. To move that to five is a very good swing at that speed. Slivka now back to serve. Kasparek was the man on the outside of that previous rotation. Slightly soft to serve. Almost, uh, when you think that Slivka's put Leon in a lot of trouble to that short outside position, they then it's a hybrid serve high to the right hand side maybe trying to catch him out but in turn too much in rhythm for Perugia Herrera second serve second miss serve Stasi uh, takes a deep goal Smith. At it again. Hardly made an error, is he? Herrera, two up. Great scoop. Just a little bit of an underknuckle, Leon. You don't want to mess with Leon in those situations. He's incredibly high and will just go chiseling off the top of the hands. Kazmarek thinks he has a case here. I'm unsure if it does. Leon is certain that Perugia should have that. I think he just went off the top of the hands. I think there's no drama here. But I have been wrong before and I will be wrong again. waiting to see how this one turns out. Leon and Kazmaris both uh, think they have a fighting chance. 
future of the Reach semi-finals for the sixth time in the last seven Champions League campaigns. Interception classic. Was there a touch is the question? Oh, it's close, isn't it? Two of the world's heavyweights might just have the gloves off here. For me, that's a touch off the index finger of Kazmarek. But Kazmarek could say that it hit the hand of Leon. It looks like the point's been overturned, you know. There's no net touch. The finger touches the hand. They, they definitely hold hands for a moment. It's on Zax's way. I'm very interested to know what you guys think about that one at home. For me, I thought there was a slight touch on the ball. As uh, Herrera, oh, what a cover! For cover, dump on two! Let's go! Russo scores the point, but Gianelli, I think. That was the biggest stuff block you've ever seen, but Gianelli with the right. He's used to try and get his itches without a block, but he's just done it in emphatic fashion. Wow, Gianelli has made two defences this evening that have been on another level. Leon out the back this time. I feel that Leon, every time he does miss a serve going out the back, that he thinks they should challenge him. Kazmarek, ace from the Zaks, right side machine, Anastasi has to get the boys in, because tonight so far Zaks have served incredibly well, once again they go off to the inside hand of Leon. Non sbrecchiamo la battuta per tirare solo forte, cerchiamo i giocatori, facciamo l'età. Non abbiamo opportunità in questo momento di fare punto, ragazzi. Ehi, non vogliamo ah, sempre no, essere! No, Devo fare la rinza! Dai, 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 So many just exciting moments, aces, foot covers from Gianelli. Kazmarek is uh, back behind the service line. It's another big one, Plotnitsky. They're a little bit stunned here, Perugia. And that is not off the hands this time. Plotnitsky stays very much inside as a left-handed outside player. Can't quite get his feet inside the ball and find the hand. Semenyuk comes in five points down. Must be feeling a mixture of emotions, Semenyuk. Seven years here, but he needs to try and uh, help Perugia get back in this one. Can't remember him really being set, to be honest, throughout this game. But the substitution puts his old pal because Kazmarek off. Think about Zaxa over the past two Champions League finals. That first Zaxa side still had uh, Pavel Satorsky playing in it with Kazmarek, Tony Uti, who uh, we might see in the final again this year playing for Yastrzewski. But let's wait and see. There's still a lot of life left in that tie. Herrera off the hands over the top of Choji. Also in that side, Slivka, Semenyuk, David Smith, who uh, scored nine points. But shock horror, attack execution of 67%. Always there or thereabouts, isn't he? On the floor. Great touches, some replays from a very, very entertaining game. Think about the likes of uh, Adrian Kresevsky and Bartholomew Kluth, who have been big bench players of this squad through the middle. Prajitsky, we've seen Kluth this evening. We saw... Uh, 
Staszewski in the semi-final, quarter-finals, sorry, against Trentina. That very easily could have been a semi-final, as this could be a final. And uh, Jakob Kokonowski was also still playing for Zaxxon at that time. Fast forward a year, a few changes, the likes of uh, Kokonowski, but Kazmarek uh, made 13 points in that final. It was uh, Semenyuk, big play, that one's... Uh, Going to be quizzed, I think. Semenyuk uh, scored 27 points. And an attack efficiency of 89% that day. Which to me tells me he needs to get a few more balls in this game here this evening. And Eli Sergi is. They're in a very good spot, coming back into the angle. It's a little bit inside, so when the ball's inside, you don't have any line in this game on the right side, but Kazmarek nurdles his way past the block. Again, off the net. Plonitsky the target. Plonitsky again set out of rhythm and again goes high and wide. And this is uh, very much deja vu from the opening set here. The pass goes astray. Gianelli loves going back to the person who passes it out of system at times. But you've got Plonitsky, you have Semenyuk. I'm unsure if Semenyuk's carrying something because. Uh, Gonna have to get more of the ball now, especially on the front court. Pajitski leaves us doing a good job in the middle with David Smith this evening. He's a man that's won it with Tours the last time a French side won it in 2005. Samuel Vero. incredible to win it as a player and a coach wouldn't it for Finland there is a chance with uh, Emmy Turva Porti actually become the second Finnish player playing for uh, another Polish side in Jastrzewski issue here is uh, 17-14 centers put onto the deck the foot's gone way over the line, as you can see. me it's a no-brainer but I have already been proven wrong this evening serves don't they but this is a good pass in rhythm and system David Smith is on time every time ready to do some serious damage isn't he this time he just turns it back to position five world-class swing a lot of work to be done off the ball from Smith Slivka back to serve thoroughly enjoying Smith's 
performance this evening. Slivka. It's a net, but the service pressure is very underpinning of what this performance is all about from Zach's. They've served the, the leather off the ball. And Jesus Herrera. 196. Good serve, great turn back. That's a sharp one from Bednorge. He's been quiet as of late, hasn't he? Spreading the play, pass right to left, just popped up from Yanish and just turned into position four away from the block. It's a smart swing and maybe one of the only times that we've seen Bednorge try and crank the angle after going off the hands all evening long. Short serve. It's not Smith again, is it? Not another free ball go astray. No, Bednorge. They don't make the same mistake twice. This sacks a team. And now they are cooking on gas and looking towards what's going 2-1 up. Short serve again. Smith is in the thick of everything. Bednorge puts it to bed. I don't know if uh, Anastasi feels pressure, who knows, but... Bruja never won the Champions League and I struggle to believe it with some of the players that they've had past few years. Zaxa having won it twice in the last two years for Samoviro. He's looking to follow in the footsteps of Gerbic who led them to the first one. Obviously now the head coach of Poland and well he was the head coach of Borussia as well. There's a clear link as uh, Mital Hainem is replaced by Gerbic as the Poland coach. Troji Kletu won the Champions League with the Saxa side last year and now it's the turn of uh, Salvura, who so far has got it really right. The difference will be now is that Zaxa really won't want to uh, concede another set. They'll want to try and win this one quickly, win 3-1, and then they know that they have a little bit of a cushion going to Perugia next week. So many into the net this time, six-point lead for Zaxa. It's 3-1. Zaxa can lose 3-2 next week and that would be fine. They would go through. It'd be, pressure would be on Perugia to get a 3-0 or a 3-1 to send it to a golden set. Dip over the top from uh, Plotnitsky. There could be some room back for them in this set as well. Shoji, what a player. Best libero at the Olympics 2016 and 2021 and also at the World Champs in 2018. Oh, hammer. Lucas Kazmarek. We've seen Perugia give the line away often enough, especially when the ball has to travel a longer distance. And he just has the speed in the arm to dictate it down the line. We just feel that minus that one mistake in the previous uh, set off the free ball, this could easily be 3-0. They let the door, or open the door in Gianelli. Perugia hardly know what it's like to lose a game this year, undefeated in the league, Champions League. Only lost in the cup in that one game to Milano in the playoffs. And we talk about the serving, but the passing has been there. It's a block, though. Herrera. Slivka put to the floor. It's good serving 
has to do a lot of work off the ball Slivka and in turn that means he loses some of his angles Karija back to four can they is the question Herrera on the front court Gianelli knows exactly what it takes to serve his team out of these situations Slivka, touch off of Slivka on the way through. Two blocks in a row from Perugia. And the door isn't just a jar, it's well and truly open for Perugia here. Slivka stopped twice in a row. This time it's inside. I and mean, it's inside, there's nowhere to go. And you could have a look at Slivka there, but I also think the set was a little bit quick and inside. You are ready for this shot. We pass with yeah. really good technique and we cover. Directions right. in attack, okay. Yeah, this ball. Hey, we're also steady, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Saxa. You can see the finish line in set three here. But they have to concentrate to make sure they get over the line first. Gianelli serving well. <laughs> Through the pipe, third time, keep that notch. Makes hay while the sun shines. Great setting. Shoulders round the ball. Through the split. And two will do it for the home side. Into system. Whip from Gianelli. It's uh, good to the right hand side. Second opportunity. High. Plonitsky, it's another mistake from Plonitsky. Every time he's looked for the hands, he's just gone a little bit too high. Oh, it's out the way. Slivka, genius. Good cover. Second chance, looking for the middle, and that has gone out of bounds, and that really sums it up for Perugia in this third set. Zaxa take it, 25-19. Gianelli looking for the middle, and missing out. Good recovery, all the same from Kashmarek playing defense. Yanni scrambles it over, but it misses the middle. Flavio misses the sideline as well, and with that, Zaxa Move to 2-1 here at home in the first leg of the CEV Champions League Volley 2023 semi-finals. Perugia have a lot of work to do. There's so many rotating parts to this. Zaxa would love to see this home 3-1. It would give them a cushion for the away leg next week that would be so important for them. Equally, minimum that Perugia want to walk away from this game with is a 3-2 to give themselves a better chance at home. We know that anything can happen next week. So we can't get too in front of ourselves. But this is an incredibly enjoyable game. Kazmarek up to 10 points with a hitting execution rate of 60%. That's influential, but we're going to come back to the middles. 80% execution rate in the middle between Smith and Prajitsky. Smith has scored 10 points in the middle. He's served 16 times, so he's had the best serving game 
out of uh, Zaxa as well. Perugia, well, their execution rate falling a little bit. Obviously, Herrera couldn't stay at nine points at 80%. Into these at 12 points at 67. Only three points in that set. Probably not where it needs to be. Leon, 40% execution. Not ideal. Flavio in the middle with 83. And here uh, is a stat for you. Camille Semenyuk yet to score a point. Minus one overall in his win-loss ratio for the team. Of course, he's 100% uh, in reception. He's only been served once, so he hasn't had much to do, has he? Semenya hardly touched the ball. 25-19, set three. Zaxa. And imagine they could have had it in three. If. It's a big if, because you never know what's going to happen. They would have dealt with that three ball situation on set point in set two. Huge sets in the context of this tie, one that both teams will be desperate to win to make uh, the next tie in Perugia slightly simpler for them. Lucas Kazmarek gets us underway with a big high rip off the top of the hands. Leon is very high. Just off the inside in the end. Slivka. Blocked twice in a row in the previous set, but at the same time has been influential in everything he's done this evening. This serve cross body to Leon is uh, now in the bread bin, but oh, big stuff block. Uh, Bednoj is playing some of his best volleyball this evening. Herrera roofed and now Perugia already under the pump. Early doors in set four. That's a little bit of a reach into the line. It's Smart work from Bednorge. <laughs> On the passing unit, the service tactics from Slivka tonight. He's changed up his contact of the ball to upset the rhythm of the passers. This time it's the hybrid ball. Short. On Semenyuk who started this set instead of Plotnitsky. Something has to happen for uh, Anastasi as it stands. As we said earlier, probably feeling a whole whirlwind of emotions out there. Janic flips it to the outside again. Bednorz has uh, been stopped twice, but he is on fire so far, it's a little bit out of rhythm, this one's gonna go high, they have to cover. They do cover, there's loads of bodies waiting underneath it. Flip back to the outside. Oh my word, Slivka. If you ever struggle playing as an outside spiker, I'm sure there's a team out there who would take you as a setter. That's twice tonight that you produced the magic when you needed to. Flips it off the body to the outside, give Bednorge a chance to go off the hands. I don't speak Italian, but I think he's asking for a little bit more passion. There's a group of people that have a lot of passion for the sports.
one thing that Perugia didn't win was the Italian Cup this year. Piacenza won it. They've won three out of the last six, Perugia, in their it's pretty good firm going nowadays with a strong Italian lead. But Leon brought short again from Slivka. It's a good work from the block. That's a service tactic that's working. It's taking the height away from Leon. Doesn't take the height away from Herrera on the right side. Fast arm, smart work. Perugia finally on the scoreboard. Slivka's fine run of serves comes to an end. Gianelli, good width, good speed, a one-on-one. -on -one. Herrera, wide, high. Not a happy bunny, is he? Almost at Easter time. Smith, here we go. David Smith has served incredibly well this evening. I can't remember him missing one. And he goes straight after Leon as well. Belter from Leon in rhythm and system when he isn't put to the floor. He's got all this time. Looks effortless, doesn't it? Hits over the left shoulder a little bit towards the line, shows the cross. Leon has served teams through Champions League ties in the past. The semi-final against Lube is the one that stands out in my mind the most. Kazmarin goes after Leon again, getting a lot of heat. Oh! Well, there's a man off the bench, uh, Sebastian Sole, dual nationality Italian and Argentinian. And that's uh, some way to come into the game. I mean, it's interesting. He made five kill blocks against Berlin at home. But he's also the best blocker in the team with uh, 0.67 blocks per set. So interested why... Uh, know why he's not had a bit more of a go earlier on. He won the silver in the Champions League with Trentino, with Gianelli and Calacci, funny enough, in 2016. His best middle blocker in the Champions League that year as well. That's a long time ago now for the Argentinian bronze medalist from the Olympic Games. Palmed in. And you feel that Semenyuk a has just been set and put one away. The Polish fans giving him no round of applause whatsoever. But he's in the game, finally. Starting to get some service. That's exactly what he can do. You also feel and know that Bruges are starting to pass, which means they're still very much in touch. And now if they start to serve... Oh, Slivka! Janusz chucks him the ball high and wide after he's put on the deck with the pass. But it's high enough and wide enough to allow him to snap back cross body as Slivka loves so much. Brzezinski, big serve. Okay, Brugia, now you're playing. Now you are playing. Passes in the right zone. All of a sudden, we get the very best of Gianelli. Running a second tempo attack right away to position five. And we have a game on our hands once more. They're not going to allow Zaxa to get too far in front. Shoji. Oh! Wilfredo! Kazmarek tries to hammer into the angle and Wilfredo Leon says, no, sit down. Zach's passing incredibly well. That was Bartosz Bednors that orchestrates that one with uh, Janusz before putting away the ball was uh, Lukas Kazmarek on the right side, hunting down this 10 attack. 
big wide set from Inu. She has a great set with that camera angle. Good width, good speed. Still a big job to be done though for Zaxa. Only three points. The difference, that's a big one again. Herrera. Slivka shot down as he has been, but he has this uh, incredible knack of coming back even stronger after he's been blocked. Tries to get past the Flavio. There is no getting past Flavio. Big play. Welcome back to the front court, David Smith. Perfect is a word. Well, it's a big word, isn't it? Let's put it that way. But he has been perfect this evening. Slivka back behind the service line. Of course he goes after Wilfredo Leon. He loves that five to five serve anyway but he's uh, tried to bully Leon this evening from there tip cover is very good behind the block we haven't seen many tips this evening are you surprised I'm not surprised at all this time turn back Bednorge is in the middle of it quick from Gianelli beautiful work from Gianelli in the air holding flipping it to the wing and letting Leon get back feasting Chases on. Out of system throughout. What a swing. Bartosz Bednors has made a living this evening of going off the hands of the blockers. And this is maybe his most important swing. Shoji does good to try and scurry across and get behind it, but it's way off the net. Slivka again is doing the setting perfectly, mind you. And a speed up of the arm off the outside arm of Gianelli. Magical. On passing straight, big wide set for Herrera, has to stall his run, in turn lost his rhythm, Bednorsch, beautiful this evening offensively in the block and now Zaxa can start to really believe they can get this done. Bartosz Bednorsch, he's been around the world, now he's back in Poland delivering his best volleyball. free ball and just as uh, Perugia's reception was getting better they falter again Gianelli fumbles it very rare mistake from Gianelli four turns to five Perugia trying to stay together here as everything goes against them David Smith, good time to be back behind the service line, flawless this evening, this time does miss a serve, probably the first one that I can personally remember throughout this game, Bednorge has been outstanding, Slivka has done a fantastic job as always, consistent.
Shoji waiting in the middle for Leon's serve at position one. Great pass from Shoji. And that one is all about the Libero, ladies and gentlemen. Shoji stays very patient off the net band and flips it in. And then Kazmarek just works away from the body once more, coming in on an angle. Shows it's going that way before off speed past Semenyuk. A penny for the thoughts of that man, please. Perugia need to find some aces. Try and upset the apple card of Zaxa here, but as the pass is back on the money, Pajitski is back in the game. Yes, hasn't been used as often as uh, David Smith this evening. Oh, it's a little no-look fadeaway to the sideline. Lovely. But his hitting efficiency is just as strong as Smith. He's had just as good a game. Perugia need to show some character here. Bednosh. Out the back, good uh, duck from Leon. Herrera on the front. We haven't seen uh, Rich Licky since he was substituted off. We haven't seen uh, Rob Brett, the second setter from Slovenia, since the first set. But Gianelli serve is such a dagger in the side of any team, and it is a dagger in the side of Zaxa at the moment. Still a bit of work to do, but all of a sudden, from a loud holler at Zotti Hall, you can hear a pin drop as Gianelli serves an ace. Shoji, perfect again from Shoji. Execution error from Bednosh, and now the pressure starts to uh, build on Bednosh and Co. And those are those swings that you can sort of afford to miss, but it could end up in a bit of a landslide, Laxa, especially with Gianelli serving. Shows you. Good passing again. Leon playing defense. Gianelli out of system from the left side. Semenya, who all of a sudden, when he does start getting uh, some of the action on the front court, he starts to score freely. Yes, the fans are not cheering his name in the Hallerazzotti, but he's doing a superb job since coming off the bench. Have a look at Anastasi in the background. That's a one point game. After the point, okay. Five points in a and row. Good and easy things, okay. After time, slow little serve, okay. One side out, guys. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Gianelli on an absolute tear here. Serving aces. There's a few errors coming from these serves from Zaxa as well, but now they're in system. Oh! Bosch from Bednorch. He might have missed one previously to position one, but have a look here. Back to five. Hammer time. Good speed, Herrera. Off the hands, look good off the bench, isn't he? Big step up this from 
French League last year, having played in Argentina before that, to be in uh, Zaxa playing against the European champions and doing a great job. It was part of the Cuban side that uh, lost to Italy in the World Championships. 3-1 for Cuba alongside uh, Robert Landy Simon. Janusz. Serve on to Leon once more. You just feel that Leon wants his uh, passing and system unstoppable, but he has stopped the volley to the line as well, seeing that's a good timing in the block because it's different picture from Slivko. Another opportunity though. Kazmark hasn't quite got an approach off the head of Russo and they're hustling now Zach's a continuation off the hands from Slivka first time earned the opportunity for Yunush to spread the play and then off the hands Kazmarek Yunush again stays away this time from uh, Leon but the ball goes to Leon all the same sharp Shoji in the perfect spot just on the outside of the three-man block, but it's beaten to the floor because uh, that was sharper than sharp from Leon. You can't really have uh, any complaints about that one if you're Shoji Flavio, Brazilian international. Good passing from Slipker at position one. Brilliant work through the pipe twice. Three times now, they've used the pipe. It's a glorious play to hold the middles. You've got David Smith there, who's been causing problems all evening long. So, of course, Soleil's going to try and commit with him, and it's going to leave Bednorz free to play through the seam. And Estazi knows that the odds are against him now, with Zaxa raising their level once again. Slivka. Three things for certain in life. Death, taxes, and Slivka hitting crossbody to five in this match from the service line. Bednoz. Shoji puts that ball about as in system as he possibly can off a serve like that. Bednoz, again, staying so high, has had the better of everybody on that left side this evening. How many times has he come in angle? Blocks sort of pinched in with him to get their line and he's turned it back across his body. What's going on? Pajewski thinks he's got a monster block. The DJ thinks he's got a monster block. Has he got a monster block? I think he has got a monster block. Perugia really looked like they were getting back into this one. Ginelli believes. Very frustrating. Uh, one off the hands, net touch uh, from uh, Bednorz. You've got a feel for Prudja because they worked incredibly hard to get their way back into this one. At the same time, Zaxa then pulled away once. We've seen it so many times before. Can you step up when your team needs you? Yes! Liam! One! Very good use of a timeout from uh, Samuel Vero to try and tame Wilfredo Leon. Look how far he gets his elbow back and rips to the line. There is no receiving that.
looking for cover. Samovuo. You feel this is it for Perugia. Those shots of Gianelli tells us the frustrations of Perugia this evening. Leon. Almost to Ace Shoji. Gets his body behind it and just takes the sting out the ball. And of course, it's Bartosz Bednosz who does the damage again. He's had a fabulous evening, but that might just be his most important point to get Leon off the service line. Well done, Shoji, for wrestling that ball in. Sharp as you like, Bednosz is back. Leon serving to our block. Two more now for Zaxa to have what would be almost a perfect evening at home. Gianelli has to play high, rocking backwards, trying to get his feet behind the ball. Semenyuk shut down against Pajitski. Leon again, sir. He's been the target all evening long. Semenyuk goes sharp. Gets his feet to the ball with a whip of the arm. And he just manages to dial that ball away, which is so impressive when you are chasing the ball. To still turn the ball away from the body is very tough. Plotnitsky comes in for uh, Sebastian Sole. This is a service substitution. Best server in the Champions League coming into this evening now has the task of solving all of Perugia's problems. Can Konitsky do that? Maybe, out of rhythm. There's one block. And we're back to two. Perugia are grinding. Gianelli doing all the work off the ball to rain down a little bit of pain. Lotnitsky up against the passing unit of Zaxa. Zaxa need two to win it. Perugia, two behind. Out the back brings up match point for Zaxa. And surely that's the last throw of the dice for Anastasi. Plotnitsky replaced again from Sole. He then leads for the libero. Zaxa. Look like they're heading to Perugia with maximum points here this evening. Cliff comes in for Janusz just to bring a little bit of a bigger block to the party. You can understand why, especially when you've got Slivko who's been flipping it around nicely. Bednosz, it would have been very, very Nice to see him uh, serve Zaxa to victory this evening as uh, Klut's work is done. Janusz comes back in to run the side out play. Herrera disappointed, but he's done a fine job. Ruzlik is in for the first time since the opening set. Well, this is it. Gianelli with the serve least cover Slivka on the wing tries to go off speed Perugia to bring it back to one ah oh, and it's Semenyuk who shot down from Janusz and Zaxa in the first of this Champions League semi-final three sets to one they take maximum points to Perugia next week and Perugia have to win 3-0 or 3-1 to take it to a golden set a 3-2 would work only in Zax's favour. A brilliant performance from them. And it's only a third loss of the entire season for Perugia. This is how it finished. Some of those was asking his team to cover. And cover they did. They built through the rally twice in a row. But in the end, it was the returning Semenyuk shut down. And for me, that was the best performance that I've seen from Zaxa.
in the Champions League this season. Some disappointed faces for Perugia. They haven't been on the losing side very often this season. And now it makes next season, uh, next week even more exciting. Bartosz Bednorz really deserves the MVP award this evening. Handshakes all round. If we have a look at the stats, Kazmarek 24, Bednorz 23 points, 59% efficiency, 83, both of the middles fantastic. There it is, Zaxa winning four. The big news is that Perugia need to win 3-1 or 3-0 to send us to a golden set. They're looking for their first ever Champions League win. Zaxa are off to a good start, looking for their third in a row. A proper team performance. David Smith, 11 points but is serving 22 serves within this game for the American, the best server of the team as well. So we just wait for the stats for Perugia. Haven't quite made them to me yet. 16 serves for Gianelli is what I do have. 14 points for Herrera off the bench. A nice evening for him, but frustration at the end as well. What important in the wonderful victory, the, the thing that you started to play not only with technique but also wonderful tactic was the key? Yeah, sure, that was a really tough game. Uh, we had amazing, uh, our staff prepared everything for the for this game, so I think we, we just keep our tactic, you know, that was, I think that was the key, but actually I think that the, the most important thing was that we left the, our heart on the court and the amazing support we got uh, today. This is something special. This is like you are winning not only like players, but like a whole gym here. Thank you so much. One for the fans. It meant so much uh, to everyone. It wasn't the return that Camille Semenyuk would have wanted coming back to his old stomping ground. Zaxa take the victory at home this evening. Semenyuk had a good game, 60% attacking efficiency, but only three points overall. It was a huge, huge effort. Slivska this evening, 16 points. Sorry, seven points, 23 points for Bednorz. 14 for Kazmarek. 11 for David Smith. They'll head to Perugia next week full of optimism and full of confidence that they can knock over the Italians. They need to win two of the three sets. Perugia need to win 3-0 or 3-1. That's the big news. After a great result, a similar scoreline away from home, Yastrzemski beat Hulkbank Ankara. Poland are flying high in Europe. A brilliant evening of Champions League volleyball. A win for Zaxa, one to really remember. Wow, the confirmation of the score, 3-1, Zaxa. Perugia have it all to do. As we say goodbye from Poland, where two Polish teams have one foot in the Champions League final.
winter in in late May. It was an evening to remember Bartosz Fednorz, the MVP, backed up beautifully from the rest of the side. Anastasi and Perugia have it all to do. It's Zaxa that take the opening leg 3-1 for myself, Louis Lett, and the rest of the team. We'll see you again soon. Mogę? W tym meczu chyba było wszystko. Genialna atmosfera, super taktyka przygotowana na rywala, niesamowity lider w postaci Bartosza Bednoża.